Hey guys, John Davids with Influicity. Today we're going to talk about how you can supercharge your social media growth. This is hashtag Ask Influicity. talk about four tactics that you can use to supercharge your social media growth. And by the way, this is all based on proven strategies that are used by some of the biggest influencers around today. And I talk to brands about it. I talk to talent about it. So I'm going to let you in on some of the secrets that the biggest names in social media use to supercharge their audience growth. Number one, watch what happens when. Have you guys seen PewDiePie and what PewDiePie did with, uh, with the whole, I'm going to delete my YouTube account at 50 million subscribers? This was a real thing. It was a huge news story and he was just screwing around, of course. He was never going to do it. But PewDiePie, the biggest YouTuber in the world, basically said, when I get to 50 million subscribers, I am shutting down, deleting my YouTube account. Now, why in the world anybody would believe that he would do that, I don't know. But this is what he did, got huge news coverage. And in the end, he did delete a YouTube account, just not PewDiePie. He deleted some secondary account that he had created just for this little contest. So what we learned from it, though, is very important. The minute he said, when I reach 50 million subscribers, I'm deleting the account, what happened? a surge of new subscribers. He was growing at such a rapid pace just to get to that 50 million mark. So what we can learn from this is give your subscribers some type of goal. Give your audience a goal. When I hit 10,000, when I hit 50,000, when I hit a million subscribers, this is what's going to happen. Maybe it's a prize, maybe it's some crazy video that you're going to produce, but use that strategy. You'll be amazed at how quickly your audience joins in this race to 50 million. Strategy number two, I call joining the club. You guys might know Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V on social media as he's commonly known. He did something recently that uh, was a little bit under the radar, didn't get a ton of coverage, but the strategy behind it was so smart. He started the hashtag 60 second club or 60 sec club, S-E-C. And the whole point of this was on Instagram, he said, the minute I send out a message, I want you guys to respond within the first 60 seconds and the first uh, responders in that minute are going to get a great prize. And he's doing all kinds of crazy prizes, autographed books and trips and whatever else. But why is he doing this? Well, here's the reason. Instagram recently started to filter the news feed. So now what happens is everyone posts on Instagram, but you don't see the real time posts like you used to. The only way to make sure that you're seeing their posts is for the influencer to have you turn notifications on. So if I turn notifications on for Gary Vaynerchuk in this case, I'm going to see every time he posts something. And in order to be a part of the 60 second club, I have to turn notifications on. Otherwise, how would I know that he just posted something unless I'm checking Instagram every single minute? So by starting this club and forcing you to turn notifications on, Gary's move is brilliant. He's getting everyone to turn notifications on, but he's incentivizing you by having you join a club. Not too bad. Strategy number three, I call the high profile competition. Think back to 2009, there was a big Twitter contest between CNN and Ashton Kutcher. And the contest was who could reach a million followers first on Twitter. It's amazing, a million followers was actually a lot on Twitter back then. So the amazing thing was you had these two high profile personalities, although one, arguably CNN, had far more reach than Ashton Kutcher at the time, and they were racing to a million. I actually remember the time when Anderson Cooper went live on CNN and used CNN's airtime trying to get people to follow him on Twitter, and Ashton Kutcher was doing the exact same thing live streaming on the internet. Now Ashton actually won that race hit a million followers first on Twitter, but CNN didn't do too bad either. They got very, very close. And at the time since then, they've both exploded two of the biggest personalities on Twitter to this day. So engaging others in a high profile competition is an amazing way to increase your followers. Strategy number four is about making friends with the right people on social media. Let me tell you what happened with one of our big brands in 2016. One of our clients is a big food company 
and they wanted to put out content on YouTube and they wanted to know of all the people who commented, how many followers do they have? So I'll break it down for you. If you put a video out on YouTube and you have a thousand people comment on that video, wouldn't it be nice to know how many of those thousand people are popular? How many of them have more than 5,000 subscribers, let's say? That's exactly what our client did, and they found that out of those 1,000 commenters, about 20 were true influencers, influencers being people who had more than 5,000 subscribers. Then the brand engaged those people directly. They started commenting on their content, they sent them free stuff, they really engaged with them and made friends with them, and then what happened? Those people start advocating for the brand. And for free, the brand didn't pay any of these people, for free, they started talking about the brand, using the products on camera, and the brand got a ton of earned media out of making friends with the right people. How can you implement this strategy for yourself? Find a piece of software, Influicity or something else, that measures the following of your audience, engage with the right people that are mostly engaged with you, and you'll find that your audience will grow as your friends grow in popularity. Thanks very much, guys. Make sure you check out all the past episodes in this channel. We have so many playlists on YouTube, case studies, Ask Influicity, Quick Shots, and of course, make sure you subscribe to this channel to stay updated on all the great content we're putting out there. We'll see you next time.